Oh my, I'm at IFL TV MTK Global. It's the end of the trip here in Las Vegas. Um, what we've been doing today, a bit of shopping, a bit of food. Just released my Chinese in the toilet. <laughs> You're a sick man, why would you say that? <laughs> Go on. Just keep it real, aren't I? Keep it real. Keep it document the whole day, can't forget about that. Um, well, 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 you were talking about some of the match from Ring Car Girl. Alright, we're picking this back up. Got shy there, did ya? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to name names, but... Uh, <coughs> okay, let's just talk about uh, why we're here. God, he's dangerous, isn't he? I mean, we knew that, but it just reminded the whole world last night. Yep. Yep. Uh, knew it before last night, you'd think as well, but... Um, yeah. Thoughts on Lewis Ortiz and then first six rounds? Yeah, he tried to do what he did in the first fight, but tried to do it with a little bit more intensity. Which, okay, his body composition looked a bit better. Maybe he was a bit fitter, but, um, you know, it was only a matter of time. Although Wilder didn't do it in the prettiest of manners, his punch count was very low because Wilder was, because Ortiz was very reactive, which I said he'd be very reactive for three, four, five, six rounds. Um, but he was obviously going to slow down, and uh, Wilder just waited, bided, bided his time, and, you know, Ortiz just stepped into range, walked into distance, and um, stepped straight into one. Mm. You came here on a on a little scouting mission, mm -hmm. and we know what lies ahead on a February 22nd a successful visit. Did you pick up a few things, anything? Yeah, a couple of things you can pick up. Not so much. You can pick up a little bit because I can watch that fight back a thousand times on TV, but you can only watch it live once. Feel the atmosphere. Feel You can see, you know, how the fighters walk into the ring, how he is when the other guy's name is being announced, how he is. And you can just see little things, how he is through fight week. Um... And the atmosphere, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, if you take one thing from it, which one hundred percent I can take more than one thing away from that. So, you know, I've said it in a million interviews this week that one percent can be the difference at top level. Mm -hmm. You mentioned your name in the uh, press conference afterwards, and uh, talked about the Fury fight, and said that nothing basically. You know, you can pick up anything you want, but he's going to switch off his lights. Uh, yeah, he said all the same stuff before. He only said that because someone asked me a question I said about him being one of the biggest punchers in heavyweight history. And I said, he's the biggest puncher in heavyweight history. Obviously, he's shown that. Um, he's proved that. And then, obviously, the guy said it to him. Um, yeah, he's going to have to say that. He has to say, that, you know, pick up what you want. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I heard it all the first fight. Like, it's, it's just a load of nonsense, isn't it? It's a heavyweight boxing. And... Um, there's not much to it, do you know what I mean? You have to take away someone's strengths and exploit someone's weaknesses. That's basically what it is. Mm. Remember after the first fight, I'm um, talking about Wilder Fury. The most of the boxing world had, had Tyson winning. Tyson won that fight without a shadow of a doubt. And he done well defending the belt last night, but he defended the belt that don't belong to him. Mm. Not taking anything away from him, because I believe, you know, a lot of people underestimate his boxing IQ. He done a very, very good job last night. Took his time, done what he was supposed to do. But Luis Ortiz is not Tyson Fury, like I said. But yeah, the the question was going to, you know, before Klitschko, no one gave Fury a chance. Mm. Before Wilder won, no one gave Fury a chance. And I feel this rhetoric is coming back slightly. You know, people are critical of the Wallen performance. Wilder's just destroyed Ortiz with that beautiful right hand. And it's not everyone's going to be looking, overlooking Tyson again, but have you felt a little bit a sway from the public? Oh, mm, we fancy Wilder now. Especially after last after night. After anything like that, straight away people are going to be on a, on on the hype train. Do you it's know like I mean? Callum Not Smith. Not that it's hype, do you know what I mean? Because it's real, but uh, it's just what you listen. What people think and public perception and this, that, and the other. You respect the fans, but their opinion doesn't sway. You know, the fighters or the trainers. Oh no, absolutely opinions not. Opinions and no. that. It, it's not really. There's not much more to say. Really, there's not much to say on on, on the matter because. 
we we we've faced him before. We know what he possesses. Tyson's faced him before, should I say? We know what he possesses, and it's our job to prepare to to come out on top. What more is there to say? He's just done that to Ortiz. Ortiz is a really good fighter, but like I said, he's not Tyson Fury. Mm. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's just like Callum Smith. Apparently he's not a good fighter anymore. Don't judge someone on one performance. I said that last night after the Callum Smith fight. Don't judge him on one performance. I haven't watched it and I haven't scored what well, I've watched. The, I did watch the fight, but I didn't score it round by round, so I can't say what I felt the scorecards were. I heard that Andy Lee had Callum winning, and Andy knows his boxing, so... I'm sure, I'm sure that, um, but he said the rounds were close and, could, you know, some rounds could have gone either way, so. Mm. If Tyson is victorious on Feb 22nd, could that be it, Ben? It's not my career to decide on, is it? No. I can't make decisions for him. No, but in, in, is there something that you need that he definitely will carry on, or from your, just your gut instinct, knowing him and talking to him about the future, etc.? Like I say, it's not my opinion. No, of course. It's not my career yeah. to make a decision on. It's his, it's his career to make a decision on. And uh, I'll support whatever decision he decides to do, whether he wants to carry on for 20 years or whether he wants to have one more fight, two more fights, three more fights or 25 more fights. Do you know what I mean? I'll support him and um, that's that. But you could see why he'd he'd want it because he's, he's beaten Klitschko. Uh, in many people's opinions, he's beaten Wilder. Yeah, but exactly, he's already done that, hasn't he? He has already done that. He's already beat the two best of his generation. I mean, I know people people that are not Tyson Fury fans are going to sit there and say, oh, it was a draw, it was this, it was that. Look, if 99% of the boxing world are on agreement that Tyson won the fight, then, then um, you know, if you watch the fight, it's pretty clear he won the fight. Basically, and if you're scripping and scraping over seconds or whatever, or milliseconds, like Tyson or the ref has a stopwatch going one, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous how you're even trying to. That just says it all that you're trying to scrape a second here or whatever. You know. Like, he mentions that a lot, Deontay. Oh, because he's it's it's a desperate call of trying to convince himself, which he done a few times, and that's the difference between the two, the mental strength between Tyson and Deontay. Although Deontay's very strong mentally, that that's a big uh, advantage that Tyson's got, is he's um, realistic, yet supremely confident. Do people not understand, though, it's up to the ref's discrepancy? It's just, I can't even go into it, because it's just, <laughs> obviously, it's people that, people that don't know boxing going on about trying to scrape a, a millisecond here or a millisecond there or it's one of them ones where Floyd goes you don't know shit about back yeah it's one of them basically <laughs> he right. was there last night though wasn't he yep Floyd Still Mike Tyson on, Mike Tyson was there actually that was Roger Mayweather saying wasn't it you don't know shit about Is boxing it? Nan Floyd used it maybe but yeah Floyd Senior was there I meant Floyd Senior was there all the celebs Ben Davison <laughs> yes, big shout out to Hulga. Um Yeah, that's it really. I mean, as you said, you you said before the fight, Wilder's just going to be patient. You expect Ortiz to be sharp. I think you said four or five rounds. He was throughout the fight until that, that, that inevitable moment. Yeah, I expected Wilder between five and eight. I did say that. And I expected him just to take his time, let Ortiz gradually slow down. And Ortiz done the same thing as he done last time. He got a little bit greedy. But listen, uh, yesterday in the day we were talking about, oh God, you know, what if Ortiz does it here? Uh, obviously we've seen a huge heavyweight shock this year already and uh, it's good for, for you and for Tyson that Wilder's come through and then... Yeah, but one door closes, another one opens. It is what it is, isn't it? What's it going di- to make a difference? A few more pound notes in Tyson's bankroll, which fucking stretches long enough, do you know what I mean? So, like I say, one door closes, another one opens. All right, but for the fans then. Well, For the fans, it's great. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Listen, Ortiz's great fighter and massive respect to him for the performance, but we, you know, we and needed a while to win. And you've got to say, a lot of respect to Luis Ortiz because whatever people think of him and the, and the tests and whatnot that he's failed and blah, 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 
you know, I watched something building up to the fight, the PBC thing on... Uh, oh, about his daughter. Like all access and that. Listen, the reason he got into professional boxing, do you know what I mean? To be able to give his daughter a better life, you can only respect that. And I saw him say something where he said he thought he was, his daughter was going to have to have her fingers taken off or something. And he said, I said to myself, if she has to have that, then I'm taking mine off too. And I thought, fair play, you know. Um, you know, fair play to him, so... And the same for, for Wilder, you know, he got into the mm -hmm. thing for that. He's a family man, Tyson's a family man. They're fighters at the end of the day, but when they go home, they're, they're, they're family people and they're humans. So it's, uh, you have to respect that. When I come here, yeah, the first few nights, people kept having sex in the room next door. <laughs> Seriously. Where, how did you get from Wilder and... Because I just heard people walk in the room. Right. And what, you, you had your ear against the wall? Nah, but when I come in the first, literally as I arrived, people was having sex in the room next door. Yeah? yeah. Is that the sort of introduction you want? <laughs> no, there's a door that goes between the two of them, I was going to knock on it and need see if they needed an hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to just kind of end it here now. Um, is there anything you want to add? Yeah, you stole Fiji water, I'll check the price of that and uh, you can pay me back what? that one back. How much are they? Uh, I think they're twenty-five dollars then. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So uh, twenty-five dollars. Oh, I'll add. How long you, you're gonna be waiting in my room for two hours? No so way. I'll Hang on. A bit. <laughs> uh, does it have a? <laughs> well, um, in Vegas, you never know. Is that, you... is that your door? No, no, no. That connecting door. And um. Yeah. So I'll charge you for waiting in my room before the the lift to the airport. Uh, Ten dollars an hour or something. Okay, Ben Davison, thank you very much. I'm special. Absolute dynamite! Oh my goodness!